Hey wild things, it's Cypress. And what kind of mysterious, strange place am I in? Welcome folks to the Nelsonville Brick Park. These gnarly squat domes were built in 1880 during the height of the US brick making boom. Beginning in the mid 19th century, Nelsonville, Ohio was the site of dozens of brick firing kilns like these producing millions of bricks per year. But in the 1940s, when concrete grew in popularity as a building and paving material, the brick ovens were abandoned and torn down or left to crumble. Today, these two buildings and two chimneys are all that remain in Nelsonville of the once world famous brick making industry of the region. Well, that and the copious bricks they produced still in service in many building walls throughout the town and across the country. The park is about a five minute detour off Highway US 33 on the south side of Nelsonville. Your GPS services will take you right to it. Park in the dirt swath directly across the road from the park. Traffic is light and semi-rural, but do look both ways before crossing. So here's the thing, you guys. The craziest and best feature of this park is that the crumbling structures are open to explore. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You can just crawl in and have yourself a solid experience and no one will come to chase you out. I honestly don't know whether the Parks and Recreation Department here has inspected the remaining structures for soundness or if there's just too little visitor traffic to worry about public safety. So if you're bringing small children, I mean, keep an eye on them. Loose bricks, aging cracked mortar and all that. But of course, I had to crawl into every little space I could find, including this sketchy chimney. Oh, this is so cool. Brick just falls on my head because I'm being stupid in here. This first oven, the one closer to the road, has lost its roof. And the interior feels a little like some abandoned ancient courtyard. Bricks are strewn everywhere, but there are still quite a lot of them piled neatly to one side. The char from almost 60 years of baking clay is still crusted onto the walls while nature patiently eats away at the structure. Honestly, this would be a killer place for a picnic or a photo shoot. And the second oven, backing up to the hill, remains more or less intact. You can get a cool view of the roof detail by walking around behind it. On the far side, I found this great little out of the way hangout spot. Of course, 
old green fence gate aside, you must step inside. It's dark, kind of musty, and funereal, with some of the last load of bricks still stacked here. <sighs> it's almost a sad, stillborn kind of a sensation in a way. And whether by design or decay, there's a hole at the top. I'm suddenly remembering being in Rome. I mean, it's not exactly the Roman Oculus, but what do you want? This is rural Appalachia. This is freaking cool. It's pretty dark in here. If you wander to the far side of the park, there's a second chimney. Unfortunately, with the recent ice storms and rain, the flooding here kept me from getting very close. I just wasn't prepared to get my feet that wet without spare shoes. Also, the water is about max 30 degrees Fahrenheit. For real. But it does look like you can usually get into this chimney. I could see an opening on the back side of it from the main area of the park. Now, the park itself is pretty inviting, probably even more so after things green up. There's a large, flat, grassy area that looks to be shady in the summer. So there's plenty of space to let the kids get out of the car and wear themselves out for a bit. Again, use discretion in letting them explore the decaying structures. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, probably? Yeah. I didn't see any bricks fall while I was there anyway. There is a large trash receptacle sitting next to one of the ovens for visitor convenience. But there were no portables on site during my visit in late February. I couldn't find any information online on whether they provide such facilities during the summer, so keep that in mind and maybe stop at a rest stop before your visit. Don't be like this nasty person. Just, ew. ew. And it's worth noting that while there is one picnic table in the center of the park, this model is a bit outdated and you might prefer bringing a nice picnic blanket and your own folding chairs. There is a nice bench to sit on over by the ovens. At least, I think it's a bench. It's the right size. Now, if you want to cook anything, you'll have to choose another park. That said, the grounds do seem to be well maintained. I was seeing a lot of downed branches, but again, we're still digging out of a record-breaking ice storm here in southeastern Ohio. And I feel like park tree litter is going to be low on the town's recovery checklist. So that's the Nelsonville Brick Park. I've never seen a place like it, especially one not roped off. I can't imagine it will stay this way too long. Either someone will get hurt on something or else the structures will just eventually fall down. So I recommend visiting sooner than later. If you like abandoned, crumbling old buildings, you will not be disappointed. You guys, thanks for joining me today. This was so much fun. I love exploring, uh, well, we don't have castles here in the United States, so old factories are about as close as we can get to castle ruins, um, but this was pretty cool. So thanks for coming with me. I had a blast. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, Keep the exploring wild.